The teachers are demoralized, particularly those who are in turns, because they were given letters telling them that they were going to serve as in turns for one year. Unfortunately, one year is over. Now they are being told that their contract should be, will be renewed. We are telling the government, those teachers, if you come to January, we are ready. We are going to urge all our colleagues to stand in solidarity with the GSS teachers that they must be turned to permanent and pensionable. So come January, we will issue a notice. If nothing is done between now and January. But we are giving the government enough time so that they address the issue. Permanent and pensionable. The issue of domiciling, class 8 can now move to secondary. Because that's where we have enough teachers who can teach the sciences, we have the laboratories, and so on. Uh, because our contract states that uh, we had an 11-month contract, which was to end on uh, the 31st December 2023. That is three weeks away from now. But uh, we got shocked when we heard from the commission that it was planning to renew our contract. We are saying that we are not going to renew that contract. It is against the law. And uh, the statement that we are being given is too little to sustain us in this economy. Because you can imagine 17,000 shillings, you need to pay rent, you need to uh, cater for transport, uh, for family, school fees and all that. My, our teachers cannot continue to teach and be given 17,000. And they are teaching in schools which are very far away where you spend more than 5,000 to 7,000 on transport alone. 
This project is not viable. This uh, contract is not viable. We therefore say as COPET, JSS teachers must be confirmed. Teacher Service Commission must confirm JSS teachers. And in January, if they will not be confirmed, we are not going to sign another contract for another one year. Yes. We are going to sink the ship. We therefore say, as Jesus teachers, we are standing together. And we are saying, we cannot maneuver bullets. We cannot maneuver insecurity. And at the same time, take peanuts home. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. in what is called risk allowance. Come out here, notice on attack and retention of teachers. Then we must create risk allowance for teachers operating in extreme hardship conditions. Here to mess them up. So as a union, our position is that uh, for those areas which are uh, prone with insecurity, we have asked the government, not once, not twice, several times, that we want our teachers in those areas which are prone to insecurity to be given paramilitary training, number one. We want them to be trained on how to handle guns, and then they should be provided with guns because of the insecurity. We have seen teachers being killed left, right, center, because they are not uh, properly secured. Teachers cannot use chokes to protect themselves. We saw a teacher being killed in Otistan, in a police station, because the policemen who were there had guns, but they were protecting themselves. So we will pray that uh, the government listens the teachers in Paringo, teachers in uh, Northeastern, where we have had very many cases, be given paramilitary training. Uh, I teach in one of the places where banditry is real, that is around Muchongo area. And as a union, I say today, we really support that our teachers should be armed because they are insecure. And for sure, we have lost quite a number of teachers in this county simply because of insecurity. And for how long shall our teachers die so that we work, uh, the government wake up? I think it has become difficult because for many years it has been the same story year after year. And I think the best medicine is that we have, we arm these teachers. Let them be given guns to take care of themselves and their children and their daughters and sons so that they live long. Otherwise, without that, they will die the way they have quite a number uh, of teachers have died. Absolutely, especially in zones like here, where teachers are attacked mm. with armless every time. Teachers are guns. victims. They, they should be given guns like any other, any other officers who yeah. qualify. Mm. Why not teachers? Teachers are human beings. They have families to, care, to take care of. Yes. Why not them? They should be given guns to defend themselves.